and I want to welcome everyone here this morning to the Longdale rest area which was established for the trucks coming off of the interstate going east after coming through West Virginia. The Welcome Center as we come into the state was not large enough to accommodate trucks and so this rest area was created for them. I'm happy to have with us this morning Senator Cree Deeds who is our uh, District 25 representative in the Virginia Senate, uh, ex-delegate Bill Wilson and a member, our oldest member of the Covington Hot Springs Rotary Club. We just celebrated our 100th anniversary. He's been there the whole time. And he's been, I think he was a charter member. But, uh, and we have Stacy Moulds. She is the Habitat Pollinator Coordinator for the Virginia Department of Transportation. What we are doing here is an environmental project which was actually inspired by Delegate Wilson, as he continued to talk to our Rotary Club about doing something for the environment. He's very active in the Jackson River Preservation Association, and he, I just looked at him and said, Bill, find something we can do, because we can't clean up the river on our own. And he came up with this pollinator habitat we made connections with folks in the Virginia Department of Transportation. And I really did not know that there was a habitat pollinator, pollinator habitat coordinator. <laughs> so Stacy, tell us a little bit about what you've got planned for us to participate in today. Yeah, well, and our pollinator habitat program, we started back in 2014, and we create habitats for pollinators of butterflies, bees, um, and other insects and we've been doing this mostly at sa safety rest areas such as this one, um, also park and rides and at other hangout facilities. So when Bill and Paul approached us, um, we met I think late last year, early this year, anyway it was very cold and um, we looked at a few sites and decided this was a good site for um, the project. Um, we, so today we're going to be planting about a thousand plants here in this area on either side of the sidewalk leading up to the, to the rest portageons. All of the plants here are perennials or grasses that are native to this region and they're all things that will provide um, nectar, pollen, and habitat for pollinators and other wildlife um, in the area. And we additionally, we, I'm really excited, we started um, earlier this spring. Um, as you can see, this area has a lot, of, a lot of turf that is mowed frequently. And we worked within VDOT with our program in general, we were working with our um, roadside maintenance crew to reduce the amount of mowing that we do on our, on our larger roads and to allow some of that area to be a habitat for pollinators. And so we're doing that for the first time at one of our rest areas here. Um, on the um, on the other side of where we're standing, we reduced about three acres um, that is not being mowed, and it'll be mowed once sometime after the beginning of fall before next spring. And we started that in in May, and we have some no mow signage to explain why why that area is a little unkempt. Um, and you'll notice already um, there's lots of bees. I was here last week, and there are already lots of bees and butterflies and a lot of spiders that are enjoying that habitat and so I'm excited to see how that goes as well. And Bill you might tell us what led you to look at this type of a project for our road to be cut. Every day when you pick up a newspaper or turn on your television you hear uh, articles about the environmental climate change issues and uh, you're talking about something that's so serious, I don't think we can get our minds around it. It's, it's a crisis. Uh, I saw an article the other day that said over the next few years, 20,000 species worldwide will become extinct. And if that isn't enough to motivate you to try to save honeybees and monarch butterflies and other critters, I don't, I don't know what is. And our hope, Paul, and I guess our club will have to decide 
I'd like to see this program that we're doing right here today spread to one of Salem, Rockbridge, and other Rotary Clubs, which will partner with Stacy and VDOT to do the same thing we're talking about. It's just such a big step in the right direction, and I hope we can get that done. Well, I, I appreciate you coming up with this project because you know the Covington Hot Springs Rotary Club has always been about uh, being in the community and making the community a better spot. And we've often had Senator Cree Deeds to join us and keep us updated on those things in Richmond. And Cree, we're just very happy that you could be here this well, morning. Well, I, I just want to congratulate you on this project. But we've lost, um, we talk about the news, in the last number of years you've seen a, a, a huge decrease in the number of pollinators that are, that are in, in our environment. We all like to eat. To eat, to eat, we have to have pollinators. So this project is, is especially timely. Thank you. And I'm, I'm so happy that uh, Stacy that worked with, this, with us on this project. As Bill said, we hope to inspire other Rotary Clubs or other community clubs who like this idea and can learn from what we're doing here today. So I thank everyone for coming. Uh, we're going to start planning here in a little while. I've got more volunteers coming, and so I'm very happy to be here on this day.